So I'm going to recreate this Pepsi logo using paths. We're going to start with this part. And so this is a circle, so I'm going to go to my shape tool and select ellipse. And I'm going to change the fill to white. And I'm going to change the stroke to this blue. And we're going to make this first circle with this blue outline and this white inside. So we can click and drag and hold down shift to make a uniform circle. So hold down shift. And then I can move this over it a little bit. Get that in the middle. And I'll do control T to transform again. And I'm going to hold down shift and I'm also going to hold down alt so that way I can transform it uniformly in all directions. So I'm going to try to match that up. That looks good. And so now we have the outer circle. So now we want to make this. You'll see there's an inner circle and it's got a portion and then it has another portion. And then this white part could still be considered a part of this circle in the background. So what we'll do is lower the opacity of the circle so we can see both at the same time. And then we're going to make a duplicate of this circle. So I'm going to hit Control J on my keyboard. And now I have another ellipse. And I'm going to change the properties of this ellipse. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke and change it to a blue color. So we'll come and we'll just sample this part and click OK. And now we have a blue circle. And I'm going to come and transform it. Control T. And holding down Shift and Alt, I'm going to transform it uniformly. And I'm going to match up this inner circle. Click Enter. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer. And we're going to change this to that red color. So we can go ahead and hide these layers. You can hide this one. And as long as this is selected, we can come to our shape and adjust the properties of this shape layer. So I'll go to Fill, click on this, and sample the red. Click OK. And now we have two inner circles and our outer circle. So the next step is to adjust these inner circles to be this shape and then this other shape. So I've got, I went ahead and named my layers. And so we're going to hide the white layer and the blue layer. We're just going to work with the red layer first. So select that layer. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And so now what we're going to do is add anchor points to our path right here at this point and right here. So next what we want to do is delete these anchor points we don't need because our shape can just be made out of right here. So I'm going to click on these to delete them. So we're left with those four now. And so we can come with our white direct selection tool, and so this will select just one point of our path. And if I move these Bezier handles, you'll notice it's going to move both at the same time. So if I only want to move one, I can hold down Alt, and click at the end of it, and then drag and move this one. Same thing with this one. I'll select the point, hold down Alt, click at the end of this handle, and now I have access to just this handle. So I can kind of keep playing with both of these, getting them into the correct position. It looks pretty good. If we need to, we can always adjust where the point is, but it looks like they're placed OK. I'll go ahead and move this one a little bit. I'll use my arrow keys to nudge it. And then I can come back and adjust this a little bit. And that looks good. So next, we want to do the same thing to our blue circle. So I'm going to go with my pen tool and add points to these ends right here and right here. And then I'm going to delete this anchor point with this anchor point. And I'm going to take my white selection tool 
click on a point, hold down Alt, click at the end of this handle, and now I can adjust this one independently. You can do the same thing here, click on the point, hold down Alt, click on the end, and now I have this one. So I'll just adjust this, move this one around, Let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm just playing to see how I can get that shape. Drag that out. Alright, not bad. Okay, so now what we're left with is this red part and this white part. So if we take our logo away, let's select all of these and put the opacity to 100, we have our own custom Pepsi sphere logo. Alright, so it looks like this line's a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to come over to my white background to the, go to the shape properties, and I can just adjust the size of my stroke here. So I'll make that a little too big. Let's try four. That's not bad. So I'm going to make a group by clicking on this folder, and I'm going to call this group circle, and I'll go ahead and select using control, clicking on these, so I select all of these layers and I'm going to drop them in this circle group and just collapse that group. So now I have them all neatly organized in here and I can start working on those letters. So next I'm going to start on these letters, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, and I'm going to use a combination of shapes and the pen tool to get these letters. So let's zoom into our P, and I'm going to go with the rectangle tool, and I will make the stroke, set it to no stroke, and set the fill color to this blue. Click OK. And I'll go ahead and drag out a square And you know what? I'm gonna make this full color different right now so we can see so we can see the difference here. So I'm gonna set it to red actually. And that looks good. Just nudge it into place. And then now we can use a circle to make this part. So we'll come over here to this, our ellipse tool, and I'm going to drag out a circle and move it a little bit into place, and then use my transform tool, control T, to get it to match up a little bit better. Click enter. And so now I need to get that uh, hole. So with the ellipse layer selected, I'm going to drag out another ellipse, but I'm going to set right here, path operations, to subtract front shape. So I'm going to click that, and then holding down shift, I'm going to drag out another circle. And I'm going to select this again, there we go. And so now it subtracts that circle from this one. So with these tool uh, points selected, if they're not selected, I come to my black arrow and click here and select these points, now I can move this one around. So we can do the same thing, control T to transform that, and adjust that to fit with the hole in the P. So right there, there, so just kind of roughly match it up. That's okay. Alright, so now we've got the letter P all finished up. Okay, so for this assignment, uh, we're making a parody of this logo, so I'm not actually going to make the real Pepsi logo. So I'm going to use some different letters, so I need an O. So I'm just going to use this ellipse we had made for the P. So I'm going to select this, go to my Move tool by pressing V, then I'm going to hold down Alt, 
and drag this out. I'm going to hold down shift so it's constrained. So I'm just going to drag it out and put it in O there. So next up I'm going to work on this eye. So I'm going to zoom in on it and I'm going to use some again basic shapes. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle. That works. Close this. And then I'm going to use the circle. I'm going to hold down shift so I get a perfect circle, close this window, go to V, and just nudge it into place. Okay, so now we've got an I. So what we can do, since these two elements, I really want to keep them together. So I'm going to uh, hold down control and select both of these layers, and I'll do right click, merge shapes and then I'll merge them into one layer. So I'll just double click and rename this I. So we'll do the same thing to this P. I believe these are both part of that shape. So I can select both of them and I can hit Control E to merge them as well. Or again, that's right click, Merge Shapes, or Control E. So I'll rename this layer P and then this one is an O. So I'll call that O. Now that we've created the individual letters, we're going to finish up the word. So I'm going to select the O shape, put my move tool selected, hold down Alt, click and drag to duplicate that, and then I'm going to Alt, hold down Alt, click and drag, and duplicate the P. And so we've got a little bit of space here, so we're going to shift and select all these layers, Go to make sure my move tool is selected, and then with the arrow keys I can nudge them over, or I can hold down shift and the arrow keys to nudge in bigger increments, and there we go. So now let's go ahead and select all of the letter layers, go to the shape, and we're going to adjust the fill back to blue, click OK. So now we finished our letters, I'm going to hide the original logo. And there we go, we've made our own Pepsi logo. We can make a group, call this letters, and shift select and put everything in that group. There we go.